Sasa kibera, take one. This is our Kebera. This is a story of a community, a story of creativity, a story of collaboration, a story of abilities, of trust in the community, a story of a good home. My name is Somba. I've lived my whole life in Kibera. This is where I played soccer. This is our muscle beach. This is my neighbor Patch. He sells anything you could dream of and more. This is my neighbor slinging chapatis. Sometimes it reminds me of a DJ spinning records. This is our neighbors. And this is our home. The irony is so sweet. 60% of the residents in Nairobi live in informal settlements. Approximately 1 million are children. Kebera is Nairobi and Nairobi is Kebera. It's a story within a story. And the place fits us. It's good for us. Despite people may think that we feel so sad being here. It's a unique lifestyle in Kebera. This has also been a story of challenges, a story of gender inequity, and a story of dangers. A story of good intentions gone wrong, of non-residents entering the community with short-sighted ideas. A story of crime, a story of floods, of disinvestment in children, and lack of play spaces. I've worked with KDI for years now. We work with the community, developing ideas together, believing in the power of co-design and community ownership activating and realized potentials of vulnerable neighborhoods. Building the community with the community. We work with local residents because we believe that they are the real experts as opposed to imposing solutions on them. That way it promotes the sustainability of the project. We have found that when we tap into the creative spirit of the Kibera community, make things together, on them together, we get further and grow as a community. My name is Janet Kerubo. I grew in Kibera. I'm the caregiver of an NTC here. My house is around here. Here at an NTC side one, we have a garden. We have a compost sanitation block. We use the waste to grow trees. This is a multi-purpose hall. This is where we recycle plastic waste. And this is a prey base. What is a play base? First of all, play base comes, stems from two words, play plus base, where base means hangout spot in Nairobi slang. The aim of the project was to address limited access to safe space and time for play. These four play bases, three are static and one is mobile, is geared to serve the community at different fronts and scales. In 2020, we kicked off the Bringing Bricks to Kibera project, which entailed the co-development of four play bases and the testing of bricks as a participatory tool. Nexon Foundation partnered in a program to test bricks as a tool for creative play. They donated thousands of pieces of bricks towards the play bases. They also provided training sessions to the local residents who are running the play bases to pass down the knowledge of learning through play and also playing for fun using the bricks. 
2019년에 저희가 키베라를 처음 방문했을 때 저는 키베라가 삶과 에너지로 역도하고 있다고 느꼈습니다. 시장은 사람들로 북적거리고 아이들은 골목골목마다 뛰어노는 모습이 정말 보기 좋았습니다. 단지 철도 옆이나 강쪽같이 아이들이 놀기에는 조금 위험한 환경이 있다고 생각이 들었습니다. 그래서 KDI와 KPSP 커뮤니티와 함께 공동 디자인 워크샵을 가자는데요. 워크샵을 진행하면서 어린이들은 원하는 놀이 공간의 모습을 브릭을 활용해서 모형으로 만들었고 KDI는 그 모형을 기반으로 실제 설계로 반영했습니다. 네, bricks have been very uh, helpful uh, to me as a teacher because um, they are very versatile. So we are talking, we are doing mathematics with them, we are doing numbers, we are counting. How many days? So in one hand, I have. So someone is making a bed, another one is making a chair. They are doing it. They are making a house. They are making a wall. So it, it is giving them a variety of things to do, and it is also very interesting for them. Me na skia tu vizuruks babu meleta tu atutok chesia. Kitambo kwata watoto tu akwa ukukua dina tu zaku chesia na pata tu tam toka shule. Wamendo ko uamendo ko ni ni uko la ni to ride bike na kuna ku ride bike bila pesa. 어린이들도 어른들 못지않게 많은 상상력과 의견들을 가지고 있는데 단지 그것들을 적절하게 표현할 방법을 못 찾을 때가 있다고 생각이 들어요. 근데 브릭은 그런 추상적인 것들을 구체적으로 표현하는데 정말 좋은 도구라고 생각합니다.